play, play more loose, we don't have uh, something on our back just weighing us down. But uh, I think we're also going to go in there and like, play, play like we have a chip on our shoulder. Um, I think we have a lot to prove, and uh, we've got to take one position at a time and just stick together. Stay in the back here, and then up here in the front. Let's go back to the ring thing. I think later in the game, I think he got a little piece of the DR and trying to go up and, and get it done. It's just like what kind of like redeeming factor or you know, confirmation of his athleticism and stuff like that after what happened in the first Yeah, game. I mean, I don't think Brady gives himself enough credit of how good defensively he is. Um, you know, he's kind of frustrated with his game yesterday, but you know, I told him, like, it's not always about scoring. Like, he would the game in his ways. What, eight, eight rebounds, six assists, something like that, or vice versa. Um, so, yeah, I think he just impacts the game in many different levels. Obviously, everybody wants to shot the ball. Definitely with stays like this, but, um, you know, he's the head of the snake for us, and uh, we go as far as he goes. Your teammates were saying they wouldn't want it any other way to play you kind of they want to play the best, beat the best. What excites you about that challenge? That if you win, you know, it's not common. Betty has the chance. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it was uh, one and two for between being the best team this year. Um, and there's no better way than to end it off the year of having you know, the best teams play each other. Uh, they're a good team, they're a good team. And uh, I think it's going to be a, a war goal. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. What well, was working for you last night? It felt like you were the X Factor. You were feeling it. Yeah, I think um, just being in the right places. Uh, it just when the ball came to me, just shooting with confidence. Uh, I didn't think uh, the crowd, you know, the, the stadium made much of a difference. You know, I kind of just zoned that out. It's uh, like I was just shooting by myself, and um, I just stayed confident. Lance, did I mean you were not here last year when they lost, obviously, but did you even go back and look? at what Virginia did in 19 to kind of study how their path went to the national championship after losing to a 16 seed. Did you go back and look at any of that? No, I know they beat Duke. <laughs> uh, um, I, know, I, I, know, I know that much. Right. Uh, Purdue was that close. But, uh, no, I didn't really, I didn't really you know, watch another run. Um, see, I'm not really Right. So you don't know – they kind of set the blueprint for yeah, for you guys a little bit, that, didn't they? I know that much. <laughs> that they, uh, they lost to a 16 the, the previous year or the year before, and now um, came with a little bit of you know, right. uh, You've probably been asked this, but how would Braden bounce back tomorrow night? How would he bounce back? Yeah. Um, I think he's going to be I think he's gonna be the point guard that we need him to be. Um, I think he's going to wear his clothes instead of his shoes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a good night tomorrow. Is that a little superstition, or is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why I, uh, I told him to uh, switch at halftime. He did, and 